I'd forgive you if you have never heard of the GPD Micro PC. It's been around since 2019 and perhaps not as popular due to it not being a gaming handheld. But I can assure you that the Micro PC is still very popular, even today for its industry use. The GBD Micro PC 2 brings in some very welcome changes, and one that may disappoint users of the original. Keep watching to find out more. The GBD Micro PC 2 measures around 6.7 by 4.3 by 0.92 inches and weighs around 500 grams. It's slightly wider than the first model due to the larger screen size. The screen size increases from 6 inches on the original to a 7 inch touchscreen on the Micro PC 2. It has a 1920x1080 resolution running at 60Hz. The display can be rotated and folded back to transform it into a very comfortable to hold tablet mode. All three of these changes and additions are very welcome, bringing the Micro PC2 up to a far more all-round modern design. The screen can be used with a stylus. It is compatible with a capacitive stylus and not an active one. On the lower half we have a similar layout to the GPD Pocket 4. There are left, middle and right mouse buttons in the top left area, with a touchpad on the top right. Whilst not as large as the Pocket 4, the backlit keys are in roughly the same layout, just shrunk down a little. They are a little too small for typing as you would on a normal full sized keyboard. I personally found it easier for thumb or one or two finger typing, and got quite good speeds and accuracy. At a pinch you could write longer documents, but would advise a large keyboard for this. On the left side is a 3.5mm audio port. On the right side is a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port and a power button with integrated fingerprint sensor for fast logging in. On the back are two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C ports, supporting charging and video output. There is a micro SD card reader, a second USB 3.2 port, a HDMI 2.1 port supporting up to 4K 60Hz and last but not least a 2.5 gigs Ethernet port. Sadly, there is no integrated RS-232 port on this model. We have no idea why not, but you could opt for the Pocket 4 with the RS-232 module, or this and the USB dongle. The GBD Micro PC2 will be available in two CPU configurations. The first is the Intel processor N250, with four cores and four threads running up to 3.8GHz. The second is the newly announced N300 processor, which has 8 cores and 8 threads running up to 3.8GHz. We will be comparing the performance of both shortly. There are 16 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM running at 4800 megatransfers a second, and as standard, a 512 gigs M.2 2280 SSD. At Droix, we offer upgrades up to 4TB. For communications, there is Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2, as well as the 2.5 gigs Ethernet. Powering both models is the 27.5 Watt Hour rechargeable battery. In our test, whilst running Cinebench at full brightness on the default TDP, we got 1 hour 42 minutes on the N250 model and 1 hour 47 minutes on the N300 model. Average usage will of course be higher at around 4 to 6 hours. In our fan noise and temperature tests, we got 55 decibels fan noise on full load and 53 degrees C highest temperature, so it's both quiet and cold. For our benchmarks, we will be comparing the N250 and 300 models, as well as the original Micro PC model with its Intel Celeron N4120 processor. Passmark does an overall benchmark of the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage across a number of different tests. We immediately see a massive jump in score compared to the original model, which is great to see. There is a difference between the N250 and 300 models, but not by a massive margin. PCMark performs a range of tests across daily tasks, such as web browsing, video conferencing, working with large documents, up to image and video editing. Again, we see a large increase in performance compared to the original model, and a more noticeable difference in performance between the N250 and 300 models. Looking briefly at Cinebench R23, we see very impressive improvements over the original model. There is a minor difference in single core performance, but a much larger difference in multi-core. For Cinebench 2024, the original model does not have CPU support for this benchmark, 
but we do see close scores on both single core and a slightly larger gap on multi core on the two new models. With Geekbench 6 we see very noticeable difference in performance compared to the original model and when comparing the N250 and 300 models we see a large difference especially on the multi core scores. The GBD Micro PC2, when compared with the original model, is night and day in terms of performance. It is a massive improvement, and when using the Windows desktop you can feel the difference in performance. We do see some noticeable differences between the two new models, as low as a few percent on Passmark and upwards of 28% on Geekbench 6. The GBD Micro PC2 has been a long time coming since the original model release in 2019. The wait has definitely been worth it, with a slightly larger touchscreen, 2-in-1 laptop and tablet design, and of course a far higher performance processor. The tablet design is especially welcome, as it provides a new way to interact with the device. It can be used for form filling for example, even as an ebook reader. Whilst not full size, the keyboard is quite usable with thumb or finger typing making it ideal for brief note taking or report updating whilst out of the office. With the HDMI and USB-C ports you can connect up to four monitors, add a full sized keyboard and mouse and transform it into a very respectable desktop style setup. All of this from a device not much larger than your hand. My only negative point is the lack of the RS-232 port, which really made the original micro PC stand out back in 2019. We know from many customers how useful this was, and not have to worry about extra dongles, drivers and so on. It is a shame that this was left out on this new model, but you do have the excellent GPD Pocket 4 if this is an essential requirement. Overall, the GPD Micro PC2 is a fantastic update to the classic model, with a decent amount of performance for your day-to-day -day tasks both in and out of the office. It is highly portable and fits in a jacket pocket or small bag, and can also be upscaled to a desktop-like experience in just a few moments. You can learn more about and order the GPD Micro PC2 from us at Droix. Visit droix.net, droix.co.uk or droix.eu for your respective locations. Before you go, please take a moment to like and subscribe to help continue this channel to grow. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.